baby, I can't wait to know. Well, we know something now. Iceland selected Daddy Ogagna Magnet for Eurovision 2021, and I think I just had to react to this news that overwhelmed me today or right now, and I think I just have to talk about this. So here we go, let's talk Iceland. Yes, the Icelandic broadcasters RUV have chosen and it was not an easy choice, I think. Iceland decided to go with their 2020 act, Daddy Freya or Gagna Magnet. And finally, I can pronounce this name correctly, by the way. So, Daddy Freya or Gagna Magnet for Iceland. And for all those people who don't know Dari Freya or Gagna Magnit. Well, they won the Icelandic national final, the Söngma Kepnin, in February 2020 with their song Think About Things. And they were really big hit, not only in Iceland, even before they won Söngma Kepnin in February, they went viral. Their song was really, really booming in the world. A lot of prominent people tweeted about this song and it was a really big Icelandic sensation going on. And then, of course, they won the Final of Sangma Captain. I was a bit worried even because it was on a night when a lot of unexpected outcomes happened. For example, Estonia decided on this night and this wasn't really how we wanted this. But then it was time for Iceland. I was like, okay, please, Iceland, save this weekend for us. And they have chosen Daddy Freer. And I was like, yes, finally, one good decision. And of course, they were big favorites to win Eurovision and not even the bookmakers. The bookmakers, they predicted Bulgaria to win at the moment when the cancellation came out. And Iceland was like second or third. But I mean, uh, still really, really likely that Iceland might have won the contest. And now they are back. Now they are back in the contest for 2021. And I think this is a really big risk for Iceland and for Daddy. Uh, even a more risk for the artists. And I tell you why. Well, we start with Iceland. I mean, Iceland is a country that's usually not so successful in Eurovision. They are country that did not qualify often. Last time was the top 10 place, 10th place with Hattari in 2019, which was really successful for them. They have never won the contest, but they ended up second. And this like two or three times. Last time was in 2009 with Johanna. And well, this is now 11 years ago. So long time. And now they are back on track, we could say. 2020, they were that close to it, and then the contest was cancelled. But now they are back. And yeah, I think Iceland, even if Daddy makes it to the final and flops in the final, and doesn't end up between place 20 and 26, I think it would be okay for Iceland. I think they might be disappointed because of the hype from 2020, but... Overall, I think it would be an okay result for Iceland, but I don't think this would be a satisfied result for Dali or Gagna Magnit because, of course, this hype was so big and it feels like a winner who returns. It feels, it really feels like how it felt when we knew that Alexander Rybak would return to Eurovision or how we felt in 2017 that Lorien is back in Melody Festivalen. Like this lot of pressure for the artist that won and now she or he is back and the expectations are so high and it is so hard to really go there and to reach that expectations 
and I think this is a big risk. So I think that Dani Freyer shouldn't be focused on winning. I think he should focus on qualifying, on making it to the final and just having a good place probably in the final or yeah and not on winning because now this think about things story is done like we had this hype and now a new song a new chapter of daddy fair and his eurovision career and everything is possible so we don't know what the situation will be but i hope of course that he will deliver and he will slay once again like a second time or even a third time because i even loved his entry from 2017 which was also really special but it worked really well it was the second place behind Svala who won and did not qualify in Eurovision but that's a different story but yes this is Iceland they sent Daddy and Gagna Magnet to Eurovision 2021 what do you think are you as euphoric as I am or are you more probably are you disappointed because you wanted a new artist but I don't think this is the scenario but Anyways, I don't know, so let me know your opinion and, yeah, your opinion about this topic in the comment section down below. And then, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It would be really nice and I love to do this. So, it would be really nice if you sub subscribe and then we will see you later. And, yeah, have a good time. Bye.